All right, from this position, we're looking for scapular depression from that vertical line. All we want to do is just a reverse shrug, so extend the top of the head up through the ceiling. Retract and depress, retract and depress. Really concentrating on staying off the elbows and just retraction and depression of those shoulder blades. So you want to try to stretch the left side of your body. Now slowly lose that same musculature and we're going to take that left hand and reach down your leg. So slowly reach down, drop your hand and reach, reach, reach. Try to touch your ankle without, see how you're leaning forward? Get your sternum back up. Now stay in that line and very good. That's perfect, right there. You have four more of those, five on the right, five on the left. So reach over top. The goal of a true lateral, yep, perfect. The true of a good lateral flexion is to protect that frontal line. So we're stretching everything on the left side of his body. Big reach over top. Think about keeping your midsection in tight. No twisting, no turning. Don't lead forward or back. Big stretch. Now the same musculature. We want to use that to close yourself off to the opposite direction. You're leaning forward, Sarah. Reach, 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 reach. Very good. Return back to your tall, pretty posture. Very good, nice job, Carrie. Now as you do this reach, as you drive this knee way up to the sky, point that sucker up, counter torque those shoulders back down to the floor, and then work on the opposite side. Now when we do this lateral line, you really wanna think about protecting the opposite side. That's the most important part. So really think about reaching, reaching, reaching with whatever hand has been left out in front. So from here, she reaches with this right hand. Protect this left line. One of the things that we want to do is give the athlete the proprioceptive feel for what it feels like whenever they produce a lot of power and they reach with one arm, what it does to your perfect streamlined position. So that careful mix between producing power versus balancing that with maintaining efficiency. glue to whatever arm is out in front no matter what you're doing no matter what movement so from there big reach big reach big reach see what I'm saying angel so on that one go ahead and finish this guy right here drive your knee up drive your knee point your knee up to the sky a baby now when you reach down I want you to keep your ear glued to your bicep yep now stay there reach stay there reach stay there reach stay there reach that's fantastic good work now make sure you stay big broad chested on that carry when you reach down. Now as you guys are doing this, one of the common tendencies, we want to find a position where we can reach and be strong without breaking a streamlined position. So technically we're moving from a right to left rhythm of our compensatory action reflex of trying to elongate one side, one line, while we're moving the other line, thus protecting an efficient streamlined position. So from here, we'll challenge that lateral line by reaching down with the right hand. And now we're gonna challenge your spiral line by bringing that knee up and over, but we're gonna try to keep your spine rotated back down to the floor.
sure our back is as flat as possible. So back of the neck, shoulder blades, low back, tailbone, all in the floor. So now from this position, we want to be able to fight from that elongated spinal position. We're only doing four reps. Open communication, make sure we're orthopedically sound. So make sure we don't drive up into this. This should be a gentle and progressive increase of tension. And we're gonna only pull out, keep the elevator door closing as hard as they're gonna pull against us. So smoothly, pull, 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 and pull. Fantastic job. For you. Very good, that's all it is, very good. Now, tuck your chin in just a little bit. Very good, don't move that. So now your goal is no matter where you are in this movement, you cannot let your spine shorten. We've gotta maintain an elongated posture. So the top of the head through the back of the neck, through your T-spine, all the way through that low back and out your butt it needs to be as long, as long as possible. Slowly do five reps. Now I want you to put those weights down at your hips every single time. So put them down, reset your shoulders, and then bring them back up. So go through the movement. Now notice where your head is, is that, a good, is that a good streamline? Very good. Now smooth, smooth, protect your spine. I want you to get a good proprioceptive feel for what it feels like to have an elongated spine. And then you bring it back down and through, very good. Obviously this needs to be pain free. Make sure we come back to these singles. The goal is not to be a big U shape. Our goal is to extend the spine long, 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 long. Very good. So as we do all of these movements, same exact principle applies, same exact mentality as can we do these without negatively affecting a streamlined spine, an elongated spinal position. Make sure that we protect a tall, pretty posture as if you had a glass of water bouncing on the top of the head. Now treat these as singles. So we've got a left and a right jump with the dumbbell in the right hand. So land in a left quad, left hip flexor stretch, land in a right quad, right hip flexor stretch. Increase the elasticity, elastic response of that back quad, back hip flexor line. So one of the common problems that we find is an unresponsive, back quad, back hip flexor causes an unbelievable amount of low back tension and we want to make sure that, that we work on the reactive ability of that line. That's good, Sarah. Now every bit of power that we produce has to extend the spine. It has to push you through the water. Very good. Jump and jump and jump and jump very good make sure that you get a very strong feeling a very good grasp of that concept the more power you produce through the lower body it has to extend your spine jump and jump and jump and jump very good no very good what you're looking for is bleed so as you're jumping, as you're moving that lower body, as you're producing power, that triple extension through your ankles, through your knees, through your hips, it needs to extend your spine. If it doesn't extend your spine, it becomes useless. It's the wet noodle model. Jump and drive, jump and drive, jump and drive. It has to drive the top of your spine vertical. Very good. Good job, Vinny.